everybody was singing Christmas carols before they arrived. The Far Annual Holiday Parade is becoming a very special tradition here in Montreal, and even the rain couldn't stop it from spreading joy and love to the little patients, their families, and staff of the lighthouse. It touches your heart, and it brings you back to the essence of what the holidays are really about. You know, helping each other, being there for each other, putting family where you know we're a nonprofit with a very fam family-like setting, um, and so it's just bringing back that family, that togetherness, that connection, and in just seeing all of these amazing frontline workers come to us to help the children, to help us, to get cheer us up, is just amazing. I think it it makes us all tear up. Merci it's become a tradition, and it just it kicks it off for us. It kicks it off for the children, and then we continue that magic inside. A tradition that started four years ago, thanks to Marco Cerroni, at the time a Montreal's police cadet, when Cerroni decided to organize a parade for a former patient, El Lefar, whose dream was to become a police officer. It was his last Christmas, so I wanted to do something special for him. So I did a Christmas parade for him and the other children in Lefar, and ever since then, I've been continuing to do this every year with all the Montreal police officers, the firefighters, the paramedics, and other police forces around uh, Quebec. Even under pouring rain. Rain or shine, we've made a promise to Lafayette that we're always going to be there. So uh, we're going to be there no matter what. If it rains, it snows, we're always going to be here every year. Every year, no matter the weather, members from the Montreal police, firefighters, Urgent Santé, first responders, and many volunteers like Croco Speranza are happy to share some holiday magic for the little patients of the Montreal Pediatric Palliative Care Resource dedicated to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. It's important to give back, and again, on such a rainy day like today, just brighten the lives of many people, super important. As you can tell, the adults are smiling, everyone's smiling. It's a great day for everyone. We always say we can control the life-limiting illnesses of these children, but we can control the quality of life that they have, and we can control them having fun and being able to fully, you know, be in their youth and fully enjoy life. That's why these moments are so meaningful for the little patients, says Ariane Parent-Lemay, Director of Nursing and Healthcare Services at the Lighthouse, who is grateful for all the support that allows Le Phare to provide the free care and services to help families navigate the worst of the storm. Everything we offer from respite to end of life care is free. So we need our community, we need our, um, you know, the whole community to help us. It's a positive day, but it's also very emotional seeing the parents with their children. And it's the least that we can do, and it's our pleasure and it's our honor to be here every year. In Montreal, Teresa Romano, Omni News. Next on 